Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. Silly Bay. Thank you. Nice. Would you like a spot in the front, sir? Oh, yes, please. Would you like a spot with an amazing view? Oh, yes, please. That'll do. So, how about that for a view? from our parking spot. Right on the front, overlooking the bay. Happy with that, my love? I think so. Happy yeah. with it. So no overnight stays in the car park, but eight pounds to park for the day for a motorhome. Um, members are free, so if you are a National Trust member, you can park all day here for free. What's this thing? Brunch? It's not breakfast. Brunch. It's not lunch. Yeah. Brunch. Now I don't know what's nicer. This lovely torpedo bacon roll. Torpedo? It's a metro. It's a metro. Sorry, metro roll then. <laughs> what's a torpedo? If you haven't tried them, these are from Aldi and they're amazing. They're really, really good. Where um, did you get or the stunning view that we just happened to have from our cafe this morning. I'm not oh, sure if the National seven. Trust are going to let us set up and sell bacon rolls to cover the cost of our next van. But you never know if we ask them nicely. Okay, so we're all packed up and we're going to head off that way over to explore Worms Head, which I think is about a two mile walk right down to the headland. But uh, it's not too sunny at the moment, so it should be good conditions for a trek. But uh, so Rosili Bay is owned by the National Trust, so if you're a National Trust member you can park here for free for the day. Um, there's a cafe and shop and lots of lovely walks. Uh, but there's lots of signs make it very clear that there's no overnight parking for campers. I know that the National Trust were exploring doing this at some of their locations across the UK and charging I think it was £10 a night but uh, it's not something that you can do at Rosilli just yet. But there are several campers here of all different shapes and sizes and who can blame them when you've got such a spectacular view to come and enjoy. So Rosilli Beach, which is, I think it's about two miles long from end to end. A huge, open, sandy beach. Good for surfing, wakeboarding, windsurfers. And then round, got Worms Head in the distance. I'm just gonna see if we can walk over there it was when we first came here, um, I think it was nine or ten years ago, when we were on holiday camping at a campsite farther down in the Gower at Nicholson Farm, and we saw these camper vans everywhere. And it was that that got us the bug. I thought we need to have one of these. And ten years later, here we are, proud camper van owners.
love their furry feet. They're beautiful. Gorgeous. So when you've got to scratch an itch, you've really got to scratch an itch. And this pony's found just the way to do it. Oh, that's better. We haven't seen any seals yet this morning, but there's obviously some around. So Claire and Harry have gone in for a dip. The water's clear. It's not very warm. See how long they stay in there. Just see them in the distance. It's quite a surfing culture down here in this part of Wales. In the winter time, and we'll see at stormier times, get some really good waves along here. Because it's a nice flat beach, it's good for paddle boarders, body boarders as well. I know I say it in lots of my videos, but I really do think that this is what owning a camper van or a motorhome is all about. Being able to get out and enjoy these places quickly, easy, spontaneously, getting up in the morning and think, let's go and spend the day at the beach. Let's go and spend the day in the mountains. Let's go and spend the somewhere Let's go and spend the day somewhere spectacular and just being able to do it. And yeah, we can go back to the van now. We can have something to eat. With the Grand California, we've got somewhere to wash, got somewhere to sit cosily. It's just perfect. So if you're in a position to do so, do it because you won't regret it. It's just fantastic. Okay, so after a wonderful day in Rosilli, we're off to Mumbles to spend the evening there and maybe find tonight's park up. All buckled in? Buckled. All buckled in. So, stop over night two, plan B. So we had planned to spend the night in Mumbles. We had a very nice evening in Mumbles. Uh, visiting an old friend and went out for tapas and drinks at a uh, lovely little bar in the town. GNTs, I think it was called. TNG. No, GNTs. GNT. Uh, really nice, really nice food, so I can recommend that. Um, and we were going to stop, there were two stopovers that we'd found on Park for Nights that we considered um, using. It's a Saturday today and um, both oh, this of these, is a pretty busy place. both of these places were pretty packed with um, all sorts of parkers, not just motorhome parkers, because Mumbles is busy on a Saturday night with all the the seafront has uh, got bars and uh, restaurants and things all the way along. So we enjoyed ourselves so much and had such a good night here in Oxwich that we've come back. So we're going to spend our second night on our mini Grand California adventure here and um, I'm sure we'll enjoy the beach tomorrow morning and thinking that maybe a nice cup of coffee and a piece of cake tomorrow morning might be in order Sounds like a good plan. before we head off so so it's half past nine time for a beer yeah. and settle in for another night in the van 
So good morning, it's Sunday morning. It's Father's Day today, isn't it, Harry? Yes, happy Father's Day. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> After our aborted plan to camp at Mumbles, we came back to Oxwich Bay um, and stayed pretty much exactly where we did last night, but that's absolutely fine because it was a really nice stopover. We had a good night, there was no rain last night, and I think we all slept pretty well. I slept until half seven. You did, you slept in quite late. So I'm just going to take it easy, easy this morning before we head back home. Um, I've tried out the shower in the van, which um, was an experience. It worked really well, obviously quite confined, but uh, does a, a good job. And uh, we I think I'm cleaner than I was before, which is always good. So we're going to have a nice, easy breakfast, perhaps take a little stroll down to the beach and uh, maybe a, a coffee and a piece of cake before we head back, depending on how we're doing for time. So this, I guess, is what getting away in a camper van or motorhome for a spontaneous trip away is all about and renting the Grand California over the last few days has really, I suppose, uh, galvanized our um, thoughts as to what having a, a slightly larger motorhome is going to give us. There's been some good points in terms of how what we've experienced, some things that aren't quite as different as I thought they would be, uh, quite as um, beneficial as I thought they would be, which what we really enjoyed and what we did, we've never done in our own California is just arrive somewhere at a park up and park, which generally in our own van, we've, we've only ever done that um, or, or stopped at campsites. I really love the independence and flexibility that having a more self-contained van has given us. So we know the area around here in, in South Wales uh, reasonably well, as Claire grew up in this part of the world. Um, but nonetheless, to, to stumble across uh, a place such as this with a park up here and enjoy this on our doorstep when we wake up has been fantastic. The other thing that I've really, really liked is the everybody's been so friendly. So the whole sort of, um, we don't, I mean, people in, in a normal California wave at you, but what's been more noticeable in the Grand California as a motorhome stroke camper van stroke bigger van is lots of people have come over to chat. Now we, Claire's just bumped into some people just over behind me who we met yesterday when we were over at Rossilli and you know you're just chatting away which is great and you, we met several couples over the last few days just having a chat about their vans and how they live in them and how they experience with them and that I love, I think that's a great part of this hobby. And if you make it your full-time hobby, a lifestyle, then again, that's fantastic. So what have we learned from this weekend? Well, definitely changing to a bigger van is absolutely what we want to do. A six meter van with fully enclosed is gonna give, do everything that we um, are looking for. So that's a big tick in the box for renting the Grand California. Is the Grand California the right van? I'm not sure it is. Um, and I'll cover that in a different video, but it's been well worth spending the money to hire it out and the quality of the service that Breeze provide has been superb. So uh, again, a big tick in the box for, for them. Whichever way we look at it, we've had a great weekend away. So a lovely mini break, just a few hours from home in Salisbury, could be anywhere in the world, beachside, the weather's been great and we've had a fantastic time. So it's a big, big tick in the box for having a camper van. What you got there, Harry? A very nice looking hot chocolate. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. So there's a little thank you for letting us stay in there car park for a couple of nights we thought we'd come and spend some money in the bistro so we've treated ourselves to coffee 
marshmallows, cream and a little bit of hot chocolate. And a gift of a biscuit. And a biscuit. And there's some cake on the way as well. So you want to share my cake? Uh, you sure you want to share my cake? Yeah. Oh. I know that. You are aware it's Father's Day and you still want to share my cake? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Looks like I'm sharing my cake then. Mm -hmm. So there we go, our little mini break away in the Grand California here in the Gower has finished. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's still the drive home. There's still the drive home. So Which have we had a good time? Up and you think? I think I have. Haven't. You think you've had a good time. I've I had know a I great have. time and I've really enjoyed using a bigger van for a change. It's been brilliant. So we've learned a lot about it. There's been some good things, some not so, not so good, good things. things. Um, and some things that we hadn't even thought about. So, but I think that we've definitely really seen the benefit of um, using a bigger van for this type of trip. And I can absolutely see the advantage for having a bigger van for going and traveling and camping, especially in Europe. Mm. So we need to do some really hard thinking about that, which van is the right van for us, whether the ground California is or not. I've done so. You've done some thinking, mm. still not sure, but uh, we've definitely, definitely had a great time away in this van. So if you've enjoyed this video, found it useful, taken anything from it at all, it'd be really great if you could give us a thumbs up, mm. hit the subscribe button, Yay. and Harry, myself, will see you on another video very, very soon. So we're happy everything's battened down, shut, locked, yeah. Mirror in the bathroom. Did you lock that in? Bye. Thanks for a lovely time. Trying to get through your gate without. Tight squeeze. Nicely done, Mr. Tomlinson. But we are through. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.